Hello there, beautiful people. I'm finally doing a mascara review. Seems like such a long time since I've done one. I guess it's because I've been doing like a lot of other videos that you guys wanted. So lately I've been wearing a lot of hats. I love hats. Do y'all wear hats? I think it's like the best way to change your look. Like sometimes, since I'm trying to stop coloring my hair, I figure the best way to get a different look without dyeing my hair is by wearing colorful hats. I love knitted ones. Somebody made this for me, isn't this chic? I love neon hats. <clears throat> well, clearly. Actually, you know, this didn't this didn't fit when I bought it. I just thought it was cute. And I was just gonna stuff my head in it. It's so cute though, isn't it? Too bad I'm getting a migraine. And then you've got orange ones. Like I love these here. Where my hair can kind of just lay in the back like you can like dress it up with like a regular top and some funky earrings. Love it! days where I really want to do a thing to my hair, I just wrap it up, darling. I feel like such an African princess when I do things like this. I love them. Today's mascara review is on Ramel's Lash Max. This has been highly requested. Actually, a lot of Ramel mascaras have been requested, so I'm doing the best that I can in cranking them out for you guys. So if it takes me a while, just give me some time, okay? Because I see your record, I see your reviews. It's just gonna take a minute because I've got like 85,000 mascaras, and there's only one me. <laughs> this is the packaging for Lash Max, and you can get it anywhere where male mascaras are sold, of course. I got it from Target for about $5.99 or so. Now remember, um, brands like Ramel, they go on sale, so look out for that. Look in your Sunday ads. Look and um, check your papers to see when they go on sale because sometimes they're buy one get one free or buy one get one free. And that's three X's. One, two, three. Okay. And this is supposed to be three times, get it? Three, three. <laughs> three times the lash multiplication. Yeah, some word. I don't know. Oh, three lash multiplication. This is what the wand looks like, and this is why I really wanted to review this one first, because it's got a comb. Now, Maybelline Lash Style, which is one of my favorite mascaras, and it also had a comb. But, it's gone away now into mascara heaven. So I was really excited to try this one out, because it's been a while since I've reviewed a mascara that has a comb. It also has a picture on the back of it right there. And basically what it's supposed to do is it's going to multiply, and it's going to... Uh, Pretty much a separation mascara. It doesn't claim to do any kind of um, crazy voluming. It just is going to take, it says it's going to take your lashes, take one lash and multiply it by three. So we're looking for separation. We're not looking for a bunch of volume or a bunch, a bunch of length. So that's cool. Um, and voila. Okay. So nothing out of the extraordinary there. Bam. Bam. Okay. And now for the coup. But yeah, it's very, very small, but there it is. It's got a bunch of little bristles there. Not too many, but enough. Um, and it's going to comb right through the lashes there. Okay, we're going to see how well this works. I have not curled my lashes or anything like that. Um, so let's go. Now with the comb... I think it makes sense to wiggle. I don't always wiggle, but since we're looking for multiplication or whatever the uh, term was, we want to make sure that we wiggle to get as much. It's kind of hard to use this because, well at least for me since I'm doing it, my mirror is the camera here, but um, because it's so tiny, these bristles are so small, it's a little challenging to get them through the lashes, so this requires silence and no interruptions when you're applying this mascara. Like, you can't be in the car, you can't be on the train, you need to be in a quiet setting to apply this mascara, okay? It's not that serious, y'all, I'm just kidding. That was one coat we just did. I'm gonna go ahead and apply one more small coat here, and I'm wiggling. Wiggling. I'm trying to be quiet so I can um, concentrate because this is so critical. Okay, there we go. 
that is it um so i think it does a great job of separating this is a perfect mascara for ladies whose lashes go straight down or who have really crazy lashes that go all over the place this is the kind of wand that you want because it's going to help you with stuff now if you're desirous of a little more volume here i don't think you're going to get it i applied now this is going to be on the blog but i did three coats of this and it just clumps up it just isn't very attractive so I think one coat is enough and then you can go ahead and top it off with your favorite volumizing or lengthening a curl mascara. So but as far as what I say it's going to do, I think it does a great job at um, multiplying your lashes and separating. Because the comb is the comb has so many bristles, it enables you to really get into those lashes and comb them out and bring them out. So it's really good and it also helps train your lashes. So if you're trying to get your lashes to all go in one direction, this is a perfect wand because you can kind of just comb and hold and comb and hold and kind of train your lashes to go in one direction so I think this does an excellent job at really bringing those lashes out there and letting them stay so I didn't experience any kind of flaking it's a pretty heavy mascara you know but that's not too much of a problem for me um, overall I think it's great for separating but that's it if you're looking for volume and all other stuff and eh, it just does okay in that department so that is that, my loves. I hope that I was able to help you. And, um...